Guys, it has been really hot and really humid lately, and I've got a couple of these spools of filament where the filament has gotten moisture to it and it just snaps. It'll just break apart and it'll do that while I'm printing and that's not good because it'll ruin the print. And so what I've tried to do is putting it in a baggie full of uh, silica gel desiccant packs. Uh, tried keeping it in there for like a month. That didn't help. So that's where this comes into play. Uh, Fix Dry has kindly sent over their Fix Dry filament dryer to check out and uh, show you guys how it works. And so let's open it up. All right, let's open this up. Let's. It's actually surprisingly lightweight. This is just a lid. Okay. Some styrofoam. Need that. And there we go. There's the unit. Put the box away. All right. Get that out of there. Okay, we've got an instruction manual and some uh, PTFE tube and a little base. There we go. There we go. Uh, I think that'll go inside there. Power cord. And this uh, apparently will hold either two spools, like so, or one large size spool. And it fits on there nice and snug, and we've got an air vent on top, and then we have ten holes, uh, six on top, two in the back, two in the front, where the filament can come out. And so you can feed, you know, put this right next to your printer and feed directly into the printer out of this unit. So uh, I'm going to read the instructions and we'll plug it in, see how it works. Okay, so I've looked through the manual and uh, it's, it's actually shorter than it looks. It's uh, really only seven pages and the rest is all those pages repeated in various languages. So uh, it turns out this little base thing uh, goes in here when you're not printing with this turned on. So that way the spools are sitting in there and the heater is on and without that the heat is just going directly on the spools and it could deform the filament and maybe even the spool itself. So let's put these on here. Okay, put the lid on. Right, so press it down. It's, it's very snug. You can actually lift the whole thing up. So that's really secure on there. Okay, and uh, it has some recommended little chart with recommended settings for uh, different types of filament. Uh, PLA, TPU, PP, ABS, ASA, PET G, PC, and nylon. So uh, this is just normal PLA. So let's uh, turn it on. I gotta turn a little bit. Oh, let's make sure we peel this off. That was very satisfying. Okay. Let's, uh, okay, so let's uh, power on. And so we've got the temperature and the humidity on there. So the temperature is currently 31 and humidity 64%. Yeah. Okay. And so we can press the setting button 
and we're going to set it at 50. It's already at 50. Okay. Press it again to set it. And now we've got the time. It's already at four hours, uh, okay, which is already here as recommended, about four hours. Okay. okay, so you can change the timer to be over 48 hours and that would make it infinite. So it would just stay on forever until you shut it off. Okay, uh, so that's hours and minutes. Set it again. And I guess that's it. I guess it's running. So we'll give it some time and see what happens. Okay, four hours is just about up. Let's uh, give it another 30 seconds or something. It should be done. It does feel fairly warm on top on the sides. Yeah, the sides are a little, little bit almost hot, I'd say. A few more seconds. We'll see what happens when it's finished. Curiously, it keeps making some little noises, like a little beep. Oh, okay, it just beeped three times. Uh, apparently, that means it's finished. So, it did not shut itself off. So, let's turn the power off. All right. The fan is still going. I guess it'll just keep going until it cools down. Get this off. Tilt it a bit. There we go. And it did shut off when the lid came off. That's interesting. Okay. These are warm. Uh, very warm on the bottom. Let's see if it breaks. No, nope. I can bend this all the way in half. And, okay, it did break, but I had to really bend it. All right. Let's check the other one. And again, quite toasty on the bottom. Let's see? Okay, that did snap still, so... I guess maybe it needs to go in for longer, but you know, it all depends, I guess, on how moist it is, and just what kind of humid environment it is. These were actually in my basement where my washer and dryer are, so I'm sure the dryer probably put out quite a bit of humidity. So I'll put these back in and I'll run it again, and I'm sure it'll eventually get them taken care of. But otherwise, it is a very nicely put together machine. Uh, I, I like how simple it is to use. The uh, cord, the power cord, is fairly long. It easily reached all the way down to the floor here where my power strip is. And yeah, it's, it's a nice machine. I'm happy with it. So uh, thanks to Fix Drive for sending it over. Uh, I think it's a good machine, and I would recommend it. All right, see you next time. Please uh, like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Leave a comment below if you have any questions. I will try to answer them, and I'll see you next time.